So I got a request to do a video on the basic tools you'd need to get started working on go-karts. And so in this week's Tyrannus Tip, we're gonna do just that. Now I'm not gonna go in any extremely particular order, but kind of start with the really simple stuff that you'd need just to get started. And then we'll add in a couple extra things along the way that are just kind of nice to haves or as you get more advanced and wanting to modify things as opposed to just upkeep them, you're gonna need some different tools. But to get started, you're gonna wanna pick up a nice set of box wrenches. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Honestly, overkill. I got this from Harbor Freight, super cheap, but they do the job. You've got standard and metric, regular length, as well as stubbies for the places that are hard to get into. But all you really need is a nice set of standard and metric box wrenches. Next up, I like to have a couple sizes of adjustable wrench because as I'm running around and trying to get things done fast, I don't always want to have to go find two of the same size wrench to hold one end of the bolt and the other end to work the nut. Get yourself some adjustables. Matter of fact, let's just leave this all here in frame. Up next, pliers. You're gonna to wanna to get yourself a couple sets of pliers. A nice set of needle nose, a nice pair of slip joint pliers, and then a set of diagonal cutters. Next, you're gonna want a socket set. This is a little craftsman set that I have that I usually throw in my bag when we go and take the carts out just so I have something with me. This has just got your common sizes, in this case, in standard. I would recommend getting one standard and metric because you never know, and it's always no fun to not have the right size you need. Again, doesn't have to be anything crazy fancy, but just something to get the job done. Gotta have a hammer. This is a sweet little mallet. Um, you'll also see me use this big boy when I'm really hammering on stuff, but I like this little one because it, it's got enough weight to still do what I need it to do, but it also lets me get into tighter spaces. So get yourself a nice little mallet. Another important one is a tape measure. Get yourself a tape measure. This kind of gets you into more of the custom stuff, but if you don't have a tape measure, get one. They're great. Especially even if you just have to measure something. Why am I even making excuses? Get a tape measure. After that, we got a set of Allen wrenches or hex keys, however you want to call them. These ones are on the fancy side. Oh, you think you're fancy? They're not that expensive, but also again, kind of overkill if you're just getting started out. These are T-handle Allen wrenches. Basically, they're just easier to hold on to, a little bit longer, and gives you really good leverage. But any cheap set of Allen wrenches will do. All you gotta do is be able to tighten stuff, right? So, get you some Allen wrenches. As far as hand tools go, last thing I can think of off the top of my head would be a nice set of uh, assorted screwdrivers. It's nice to have all different sizes and lengths. You can usually find these kind of sets real cheap. These are from Home Depot. You can get them again, Harbor Freight, Amazon, uh, anywhere like that. But if nothing else, get yourself a Phillips head. I like P2 is usually the right size for most things and a nice quarter inch flat head screwdriver. But again, I like to have a bunch of different options. That way I'm not stripping out screws using the wrong size screwdriver for the wrong size screw. So I think that does it for my basic recommendations of hand tools. Up next, we'll get into a couple of power tools. I love my cordless drill. This is one of my most used power tools. I use it all the time, especially if you don't have a drill press and you're gonna need to put holes in things. There's no better way to do it than with one of these. Grab yourself a cordless or corded drill, a nice little drill index with your various common sizes. In addition to this, I can't 
live without my impact driver. This little guy is so sweet. It's got a collar here that accepts these little sort of um, standard hex drill bit. bit. I don't know, I'll put it on screen what it is. I'm forgetting right now. But you can throw one of those in there. And then on here at the end, I've got a 3 8 socket. And I can put whatever socket I want on there. Tighten things up, loosen them down, and you got the impacting. That's really great. So as far as just putting things together and taking them apart, everything you see here on the table is a really great place to start. Now, if you wanna get a little bit crazier and you wanna start cutting and shaping and welding, well, you're gonna need a couple different tools. I'm a big fan of my 4.5 inch angle grinders. I get ours just from Harbor Freight. They're corded, they're $13, and they're just awesome. Um, on here, I have a flap disc, as well as grinding wheels, and these big four and a half inch cutoff wheels. Those will all swap on here, and you can use this one tool to do your cutting, grinding, sanding, whatever you really need. So this is really awesome. I have two of them, that way I can keep one set up with my flap disc and the other set up with a cutoff wheel. The last big thing that you're gonna need to get started in doing some really serious custom stuff like we like to take on is gonna be a welder, plain and simple. It doesn't help so much if you can cut up your carts if you can't put them back together. So not really basic and definitely takes some uh, learning, but might wanna start looking into a welder. Welder, welding helmet, protective gear. Speaking of protective gear, these are my favorite safety glasses I have ever owned. These are iForce Slims. Um, iForce, if you're listening, please sponsor me. These are sick. Um, they go on like goggles, but they look pretty cool. And what's really nice is they make a nice seal around your eyes so that as you're grinding and cutting, things aren't gonna get up and in underneath like you would see sometimes with standard safety glasses. So I am a big fan of these. They don't fog up that easily. They're really comfortable to wear. They've got the band on the back, um, which also clips open if you wanna do that. And as Big Bob has them set up, they also come with earpieces, like actual glasses. And this one's got the elastic, but you can take the elastic uh, right off like that and just wear them like glasses. And even as glasses, they still do a pretty good job of sealing to your face, but the uh, goggles really get you there. So you're gonna want some of those. And then last but not least, air protection. It's really important that you protect your ears so that you can still hear our Tyrann Tyrannus videos. So pick yourself up some of these. And you guys, I'll be in business. If there's anything that I've forgotten, let's blow up that comment section. I'm curious to see what you guys think should make this list. Anyways, those are my basic tools to get you started. Now just get out there and have fun.